Welcome back, gamers. Last episode of Mario Superstar Baseball, we defeated Yoshi and stole all of his teammates, and this time we're going to attempt to do the same thing with Princess Peach. Which shouldn't surprise you, because uh, we were standing in front of a castle at the end of the last episode, but you know what? Multiple characters can have a castle. Bowser has a castle. Maybe Wario has a castle. You don't know. We haven't seen it yet. So there is uh, Peach's team, she's got Toadette, she's got Toadstool, she's got a bunch of Toads, she's got Daisy, and of course herself. Uh, we're going to actually do a little bit of team maintenance here by uh, swapping out a few of our generic dudes and putting in uh, the named characters, I guess, the guys that we know, because the named characters are simply better. Those guys are really fast. Yoshi is super fast. I think he's the fastest in the game. Don't quote me on that. I think Ma uh, Baby Mario's bat is just a little bit better than Baby Luigi's. I think Baby Luigi's actually kind of trash, but that's okay. There's a team. I just want to flip the left, right, left, right, left, right thing again, and move our speed guys up a little bit, at least one of our speed guys. Money Mole is kind of just bad at batting, but Yoshi's good at batting and is also stupid fast. If the game was harder, we'd probably steal some bases, maybe do some bump hits. I think I tried one later on in this playthrough, but that's okay. Uh, we also want to make sure we keep our first baseman with a left-handed glove just to simulate real baseball because uh, they have an advantage that's basically the only real position on the field where uh, being a left-handed thrower is uh, an advantage because you're throwing the opposite way of everyone else. Uh, that's why everyone else gets to throw right-handed. Uh, outfield doesn't matter so, so much, but that's okay. So we saw Peach's stadium here. Basically the gimmick here is that there are a bunch of blocks that you can hit. And uh, if you hit them, the ball bounces all over the place. As I said, Yoshi is stupid fast. We just got a triple out of that. Whereas with most characters, you're, you're stuck with a double. Did the old schoolyard thing there where we pulled the bat back. Uh, faked like we were going to bunt and then pulled it back and smacked a hit. I don't know how many of you played baseball in school at all, but you draw the infield in, and then you smack it over their head, and it doesn't work so much in the pros. It works a little bit sometimes, but generally speaking, that's a schoolyard game. So I actually got off a star hit there. As you see in the bottom left, we have uh, stars, or bottom right, depending on uh, what side of the batting you are. Uh, basically, it either lets you throw a really, really hard to hit pitch, or lets you hit the ball harder than you normally would. I don't find it terribly useful most of the time, but I figured I'd give it a shot there. Didn't pay off, but at least we made, we made contact. Bird was already proving use, useful, not useless, at driving in a run there. Uh, I feel like she has some of the quickest bat speed in this game. That may just be a visual thing, I don't know. But, it seems really easy to actually hit the ball with her because the bat goes through the zone so quickly. Or at least goes from her shoulder to the zone quickly. To uh, better state my case. Uh, you actually want the bat to stay in the zone for a long-ish time relative to other people, just so you have more time to make contact. It's a weird thing, you want it to be going quickly, but you also want it to stay in the zone. It's never made entire sense to me, but I was never a pro baseball player, so I'm just going based on what the commentators tell me. There we actually hit the, uh, hit the thing, and uh, maybe stayed alive because of it. I don't think Toad, that was Toad, yeah, Toad was going to get there anyway, but it's possible. So last game we were up 4-0 off the first. We've got one out and we're already up five. Just to re-emphasize how not difficult uh, this is. 
if this Let's Play does well, or if someone wants to see it, I'll play on harder difficulties, that's fine. But I just wanted to get this out there, I guess. Get some content on the channel. And play a game that I had some fun playing with as a kid. So there's that mechanic we saw last episode where we hit the ball kinda hard and they flubbed it because of that. And we got a flag on Peach, which is always good. And we actually had a bad round first inning because of how uh, how good we're doing, how well we're doing. Grammar stops. Seven nothing. And we're already making Peach uh, get pulled as the pitcher. But they put in Daisy, who I haven't seen a whole lot of as the pitcher, because usually uh, I'm already playing on harder difficulties, and they don't pull their pitchers. So she throws it underhand. The timing's different for everybody, which kind of can mess you up. And we just hit a weak hit there. Beach dug it. That's fine. You know what? There should be mercy rule for the computer. We're up 7 nothing after one inning. That's really good. But... They got a hit with their first batter, which is better than anyone on Yoshi's team did last game, so there you have it. We may actually have to try. There's two hits. What's gonna happen? We've got Daisy as their number three batter. And at this point, I'm like, you know what? I may actually have to try, so I started winding up a little bit for the pitches because... Well, it didn't work so hot in the first two. Let's just kind of toss it in there. Then again, it's Toad. Yellow Toad, in fact. Toad, if I remember correctly, is not entirely very... I think he's another one of those speedy guys who can't really hit very well. He hit it kind of hard there, but Bruno caught it. That's why we put her at third, instead of one of those... Uh, Pinto guys. Uh, the only two positions, actually, the only one position in this game that the fielding doesn't matter, I believe, is the, the catcher. Not the back catcher. Back catcher is not a position in baseball. Just want to emphasize that. Uh, because all you have to do is catch the ball uh, from fielders, like who are throwing it to you. Uh, we tried to bunt there, didn't work, we got doubled off. So you put your worst fielder at catcher in this game. Which, uh, in this case, is the Pianta. But his bat's okay. Not great, but it's okay. And we actually had a quick inning there. Mostly because of that double play. We tried to play some small ball uh, with our big hitter. Didn't work. That's why you don't see guys like... Well, he's a big slugger nowadays. I was going to say like Barry Bonds, but that's uh, a decade ago at this point. David Ortiz was a couple of years ago. Uh, I mean, Mike Trout can bunt. Baseball's kind of gone away from these big sluggers who can't do anything but hit home runs. Like you saw, I don't know if it was, I think it was last uh, season, last off season, where you had the National League home run leader struggle to get a contract because he hits home runs and strikes out. That's basically all he does. Which is kind of too bad because home runs are a lot of fun. But I guess if you want better athletes playing your sports, that's what you got to do. You got to get multi-faceted players. On Montigal, get us that hit. We want to unlock Daisy because she's not bad. Is that gonna do it? Is that gonna do it? That's gonna do it. Monty Mole with the big clutch double, getting one out of two flags on Daisy. Daisy's actually pitched well so far. She hasn't given up a run yet. Is that gonna change here? No, that's a foul. It's close though. That looked like a ball to me. I don't know about you guys, but that's okay. Is this going to hit the thing? No, it's not. We're out. So Daisy actually pitched uh, two and a third clean innings, I think. It's pretty good for a computer playing on the easiest difficulty against me, who scored seven runs in the first inning. And now we just have to get 
two more episodes of Toadstool, I believe is this guy's name. I'm not up with the Mario lore, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, and then Peach again. Problem is, we don't have the challenge flags on anyone so far. We haven't locked anyone, I don't think. Which uh, means we're going into the next round. Like, unless we want to replay the Peach fight. Because uh, we didn't lock her, so we can't just do the Bowser Jr. thing. Uh, we'd have to actually fight or face Peach again. And that's boring. And our team's actually not that bad. It's not like she'd make a huge difference to us. So, I think I'm just not gonna do it. But you see, there's no flag that went up um, at Peach's castle. Which means we can fight her, face her again, but... You don't want to do that. So, we're just gonna go on to the next one next episode.